and a delinquent ninth grader whose return to the classroom at Pickerington High School North led to an investigation into the principal. They won't be returning to the school building, at least for several months. NBC4's investigates Jamie Ostroff has been following the story since Pickerington North principal Mark Ulbrock was suspended in January. She was in a juvenile court hearing today that shined light on exactly what happened. Department. Judge Jerry Catanzaro wouldn't allow us to show the faces of the people testifying in order to protect their children. I don't know how we're going to get past this. Our lives will never be the same. We are all in counseling. I'm sad and I'm frustrated that this has happened more than once. That's the voice of a man whose son was five years old when he was sexually assaulted at a party in August. And this... Our family has continued to be victimized over the last nine months. ...is the voice of a mother whose eight-year-old daughter was raped by the same teen at a swimming pool in June. The parents of the victims joined Fairfield County Special Prosecutor Charles Foltz in asking for the teen to be removed from his parents' home and placed in juvenile detention. These incidents prove that the delinquent's parents have repeatedly enabled their son and placed other children in danger. The victim's parents say the teen was allowed to return to school in January by Pickerington North Principal Mark Ulbrich, who knows the teen's father, a principal at another high school. Ulbrich is currently working out of the Pickerington School District office, pending an investigation. Aaron Conrad, the teen's attorney, denies any special connections. He says his client has been in counseling since the first incident in June. The teen's mother testified to her son's physical and psychological ailments, arguing the best place for him is home. And since August, basically a little over seven months, he's been on house arrest and GPS monitor. Yes. And that's where he will remain until the court finds a community correctional facility in Ohio that provides help for sex offenders. He'll then spend five years on probation. The boy's got problems. I mean, he knows it. We all know that. Uh, and we all want to help him. I caught up with Conrad as he left the Hall of Justice. I think the judge was fair and he made a uh, decision that he thought was right for this case. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, I know the victim's families. Uh, wanted justice. I hope that they see this as justice in this case. An attorney for the victim's family said the judge's decision can bring them some closure as they continue to heal. My family will not be defined by this tragedy. We will come out of this stronger, more loving, closer to God, and continue to live our lives. That was Jamie Ostroff reporting. The teen is still facing importuning charge for the January incident. Pickerington schools wouldn't comment today on the investigation into Ulbrich.